everyone, I'm finally back from my trip to Morocco and I already miss that country a lot. This trip was amazing and um, it was strange in a positive way because Morocco is the first country where I learned how to surf 10 years ago and um, it was so beautiful and strange to go back there where it all began. This time I went to Morocco with Andrea, my boyfriend, and we spent a total of 10 days there. We spent our first week in Imswan, which is a little fisherman uh, village, um, one hour and a half south of Essaouira. And then we spent one night in the desert and two nights in Marrakesh. We decided to go to Imswan because it's one of the longest waves of Africa and uh, we just wanted to surf and to spend one week thinking just about surfing. You had a lot of questions during my trip and uh, instead of replying one by one on Instagram I thought it would be fun to answer all of your questions here so maybe they can help you plan your next uh, travel to Morocco. The first question is Did you get the longest wave of your life yet in Imswan? Um, I think so. Uh, when I was there the waves were not that big actually but they were so long and uh, it was funny because um, the day after my first session there my legs were hurting and I didn't know why because normally when I surf it's more about the shoulders and then I understood that it was because the wave is so long so you're not used to surf this long on a wave so I think yes I definitely uh, got my longest wave there in Imswan Another question is, can you surf there all year round? Um, I think so. Um, I checked this uh, with some locals and they all said that the main season for surfing in the bay is from October until May. So when I went there it was already pretty late, so it was kind of off season. So it, it all depends on your surfing level. If you're a beginner, I suggest you go in May, maybe, in May, June, so the waves are smaller and you can have fun. And uh, if you're a, a more expert surfer, maybe you want to go in the surfing season, so from October until May. What's the water temperature now? So water temperature was about 17 Celsius degrees so um, I went there from the 25th of May until the 4th of June and uh, I was wearing a 3-2 wetsuit it's really like Biarritz actually so even though the weather is way warmer the water is still quite chilly so if you plan to surf in a bikini well forget about that <laughs> is it for beginners? yes it is totally for beginners you have this perfect wave and um, either you stay in the peak or you can stay on the shoulder but I totally recommend this spot if you're learning to surf I think uh, if you go at the end of the season, like as I said, April, May or June, um, you will have so much fun. Uh, yeah, I totally recommend it if you're a beginner, but also if you're a longboarder. I'm a longboarder and I had so much fun. So you asked about a good surf camp with a good value for money. When I was in Nimswan, I stayed at all the surf and nature, uh, which I really really loved. You can join them for their surf lessons or not, but the really amazing thing is that you can choose um, 
whether you want to stay in a luxury uh, room or in a more authentic and Moroccan style place which I chose and I loved um, the staff is really really friendly and uh, welcoming and uh, we made such good friends so I really recommend you this place another question is what are the places to visit around Imswan? That's a good question because if you're not a surfer or if the waves are not amazing and you just want to go somewhere else, well, Imswan is a little small and uh, you don't have much to do apart from surfing, but you can do day trips. Uh, for example, I went on a day trip to Estawira, which is one hour and a half north of Imtswan or you can go to Agadir on a day trip which is one hour and a half south. Apart from that Andrea and I we were flying from Marrakesh so we decided to spend one night in the rocky desert around Marrakesh and two nights in the city and boy it was really really worth it I really suggest you spend at least a couple of nights in Marrakesh just to feel the vibe and if you can spend also one night in the desert it would be the best time of your life I mean it was really really worth it so um, if you want I can uh, write in the description box all the links of the places I stayed so maybe if you're interested to know more of it just let me know the most recurring question is about safety in Morocco, especially if you're a woman. So I really wanted to spend a little more time on this because I thought it was important to let you know um, my feelings about this. The thing is that if you want to travel there as a woman, alone or not, it's really cool, it's really safe as long as you respect their culture. You know, when you travel in a Muslim country, you cannot walk around in a bikini, on in very tight hot pants. It's not a matter of freedom, it's a matter of being respectful of their culture. So, if you make sure you don't disrespect their culture, people will be more than happy to welcome you in their lives, in their homes and to chat with you and to explain to you uh, their culture and to surf with you. I'm all about freedom, I'm all about we can do whatever we want, but if we're not at home, if we are in somebody else's country, I think it's appropriate it's, and respectful to follow the rules. So please remember that. I found Morocco pretty safe because I was following these rules and uh, even in Marrakesh it was really really hot. It was 40 Celsius degrees so you can imagine I really want to take off all of my clothes and just <laughs> walk this way but I couldn't. I decided to f be respectful and um, to open up to their culture instead of closing in my uh, beliefs. So I think uh, if you follow these rules uh, you won't have any problem. So it's not a matter of being a woman, it's a matter of uh, being respectful. And uh, that's it. Another tip I have for you is when you go somewhere new, find out the local customs and traditions before. For example, when we went to Morocco, it was almost the end of Ramadan period. So, we knew it was very hard for them 
Uh, so we tried not to eat or drink too much in front of them while they couldn't and also when we were trying to find a place to eat in the evening we tried not to go in this place during the time of the prayer. Also another thing is ask a local uh, before if it's okay to say hello to people in the lineup or not. This is very important as surfers to know how to behave in the water and how to have fun and to get to know more about local people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that these informations will help you out plan your next adventure to Morocco. I will give you all the information about where to stay in my description box. Also, I will create another video with all the images from my trip, so if you want to learn more about Morocco, make sure to subscribe and to check it out. Bye! Hello! I'm back with one and a half.